Hi Cancer, this reading is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on somebody or still in love with somebody and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual. In the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with uh, someone else in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Cancer, let's see what uh, the person you're in love with or still in love with uh, or have a crush on thinks about you or what's going on with them. We have uh, Judgment clarified by the Emperor and the Five of Cups. We have the Page of Cups clarified by the Page of Wands. We also have um, the Queen of Cups and the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an um, Aries or a Gemini or any Zodiac sign. Um, you're dealing with uh, somebody from your past. Could be an ex, could have been somebody you were married to, by the way, not necessarily married to, but you're, you're definitely dealing with somebody from your past, right? Judgment, the very first card that came out is a card of somebody from your past. And I'm not surprised because we'll have so many planets in retrograde in September. We have five of them as of right now as I'm, as I'm recording it at the end of um at the end of August and the, then Mercury will join the retrograde parade um, on the 9th of September I think. So six planets throughout most of September. Uh, right? So yeah, the Emperor is the person coming back. Um, the Emperor sometimes comes through as a husband or an ex-husband uh, or an ex-significant other figure. Right, um, but uh, the emperor could be somebody who is now embracing the energy of the emperor. Somebody who was all over the place. They were not serious. They were not taking you serious. They didn't know what they want. So now they could be stepping up. So they finally got their shit together. They finally got a job or a better job. They finally got their own place, and they finally know what they want. Right. That could be the emperor. The emperor is the personal Aries card as well, and they have a lot of regrets about what happened, about what they did or didn't do, right? Um, the Five of Cups, find the Emperor and Judgment is a, is a card that always has to do with the past. This is a card of grieving the past, thinking about the past, regretting the past. So here they come, the Page of Cups is clarified by the page of one, so you'll be hearing from this person a lot. One page clarifying the other page, um, it's messages, bouquets of flowers, this is them, just constantly being on your case, right? <laughs> um, not, uh, um, yeah, you'll be hearing from them a lot. By the way, for some of you, if this is your ex-significant uh, other, uh, perhaps you already have children together with them, because pages could be children, right? But I think for most of you, pages are messages and all kinds of attention from them. Um, we have you, the Queen of Cups, right next to the deck. That is your card, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The lovers on the bottom of the deck is either a Gemini you're dealing with, it's the personal Gemini card. The lovers could also be a card of a choice. So you will have a choice to make as to what you want to do here. To be honest with you, um, yeah, I kind I kind of see why uh, the lovers is here, the choice card. Because even though they're come through as the emperor, they're still on the pages. You know, I don't see any commitment on marriage cards. So if I were you, I would just wait and see what they want, uh, what they do, uh, how they show you that they want you back. If they're mostly just talking and talk and not walking the walk, and then you know, eh, thank you next. If uh, they start talking about uh, serious commitment, then they actually start doing something about it, then perhaps you can give them a second chance. Right? The Lovers, by the way, <clears throat> in my opinion, is uh, the best card when it comes to uh, the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of a uh, twin flame connection, if you believe in that. And the Lovers could be the lover of your life card. So perhaps this time apart made this person realize just how much they're in love with you, and perhaps that's why they're stepping up. Again, it's going to be up to you. What, here's what I'm going to do with the second spread. I'm not going to look at the potential between you and this person. Because I believe the universe wants you to make that choice on your own. Instead, we'll be looking at um, new love coming towards you in September. Alright? Cool. Cancer, here's spread number two. This is um, new love coming towards you in the near future. We have death, clarified by the nine of wands. We have the three of pentacles, the king of pentacles, clarified by the knight 
of Pentacles and we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn. Yeah, you're dealing with the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, right? And um, here's the deal about this person. Uh, we have Death, the first card I came out, which is clarified by the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior. This is a card of somebody who doesn't trust either the person they're dealing with or doesn't trust anybody for whatever reason. Most likely the reason is failed relationships or marriages in the past and uh, most of us have those, right? I know I do. <laughs> anyway, but death is probably what the 901s will finally come to an end because this person will show you and prove you that they're serious about you. Um, they will, you know, not just show you, they were going to be doing things for you, right? Because uh, the King of Pentacles is classified by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the most stable, the most grounded, the most serious Knight out of all four Knights. And the Knight of Pentacles always brings in uh, long-term, long-term commit, committed relationships or marriages, right? So, yeah, I think you will either warm up to this particular person if uh, your first, your initial impression of of them, uh, I'm not sure, or perhaps, um, you know, if uh, you had failed relationships or marriages in the past, then this person will, you know, melt your heart, they will show you that there's still good people out there, they will restore your faith and love, right? So perhaps with the death card, um, the what's coming to an end is the actual nine of wands energy. For some of you, it could be somebody you work with or do business with or collaborate with in some shape or form because the three of pentacles in the middle is a card of collaboration, right? So somebody you work with or this person could be associated in some way with the way you make your money. It could be somebody you go to yoga class with or go to gym with or go hiking with. Right, um, and uh, with the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords, first of all, it's the answer yes, right? So, yes, this person is the real deal, yes, they mean business. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity, so you will be, if not right away, then eventually crystal clear that this person is the real deal. And the Ace of Swords is a card of a brand new beginning, right? So, yeah. It feels like a journey, to be honest with you, but I don't think this person is in a hurry, no. Because, uh, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is kind of slow, <laughs> right? So perhaps they will eventually also show you. It, it is a process. Perhaps this person knows that they need to, you know, uh, kind of slow their roll because perhaps the two of you talk about what happened to you and you're going to be like, you know what, I'm still kind of recovering or I have trust issues because of this, because of that. And they're going to be, oh, no worries, no worries. We'll just step, we'll, we'll just take one step at a time. You know, and uh, eventually this person will grow on you, they'll melt your heart, they will finally resonate with you all through uh, the things they're going to do for you. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Cancer, for this reading for this month. Uh, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing September.